Elizabeth. Oh, Elizabeth. Nightly from my bedside I ushered prayers to fly as swift as Mercury to the seat of the Holy Throne and beseech your safe return. I cannot describe the lordly glory that overcame my fundament when I received the good lady's missive and witnessed the revelation that my pious entreats were answered. Good Lady Bodwin, for the safe return of my darling Elizabeth, you hold my very heart in your bosom. I know she is willful and can be questionable of character, but I assure you she is a righteous girl and wants only for the comfort of a good husband to bring peace to her tumultuous soul. Please, Lady Bodwin, might I ask you spare me a moment alone with Elizabeth? My breast overflows with emotions that it would be improper for me to express in your company. You have my gratitude, Lady Bodwin. I will need but a moment, I swear. I shall call on you again when we are both prepared to take to our horses and begin the ride back to Gloucester. Your kindness knows no bounds, good lady. We will speak again in but a moment. But a moment. What the hell do you think you're doing? I've traipsed through eight centuries to find you, and this is where you've been? Sixteenth century England? What did you think you were going to do here? Become Henry VIII's seventh wife? Shut up! I don't want to hear it! I've got half a mind to take your encoder and leave you stranded here. Maybe you'd show me a little more respect after a few years of unclean water and nothing to treat your dysentery but leeches! You're lucky I care so much about your well-being. Most test subjects don't have a project lead as understanding as I am. Now, come with me and we'll go back to the lab and I'll debrief you. Come here. Elizabeth? Now! There you are. That's right. Shh. It's okay.